Force authorities say a Wall Street Journal report alleging it gave money to bandits for the release of its anti-aircraft gun is false and designed to cast aspersions on the good image of the force. The newspaper had on Sunday published a report in which it said the NAF brokered the deal to secure a 12.7 caliber anti-aircraft gun as President Muhammad Buhari was planning a trip to Katina, his home state. Sifon Isien reports. Bandits or terrorists in Nigeria's northwest have come under intense fire in the last one month following a renewed offensive by security forces. Reports indicate that many of the gangs were forced to flee either northward or further south of the offensive. Until then, the gunmen attacked several communities in the northwest and even assumed some level of control in villages in Niger state, according to the state governor. But since the renewed offensive, the bandits have been in dire straits. Reports indicate they have been calling for a truce. But on Sunday, the Wall Street Journal published a report that isn't going down well with the Nigerian Air Force. The report titled, Nigeria's Gangs Raise Millions by Kidnapping Children, Now the Government Can't Stop Them, said the Nigerian Air Force brokered a deal to secure a 12.7 caliber anti-aircraft gun as President Muhammad Ubuari was planning a trip to Kassina, his homestead. The newspaper said the masked men emerged from the forest on motorbikes surrounding a young intelligence officer clutching a cash-filled bag. The ransom, nearly $50,000 in crisp Nigerian note, wasn't for a person but to retrieve a weapon that directly threatened the country's president. The Nigerian Air Force has dismissed the report, describing it as fake news. In a statement, the Director of Public Relations and Information said there is absolutely no iota of truth in the spurious allegation that was undoubtedly designed to cast as passion on the good image of the service. This rights activist yes. says beyond denying the report, the Nigerian Air Force authorities should also conduct some investigations. Within the security sectors, there are people who are heading information to the uh, criminals in Nigeria, and that is making government lose the battle. That is exposing more Nigerian to risks and danger, because the security, within the security, there are some people who are determined to support the criminality rather than, you know, fight the criminality. So uh, this denial is not good. What I expect this, the Air Force to do is to carry out thorough investigation to find out if there was any of its member that was involved in this scandal, rather than outright dismissal of the um, allegation. I think it is important that we investigate. While security forces battled to decimate the bandits, there are reports of the bandits also putting up some resistance using high-caliber weapons. C4 ACN TVC News, Abuja.